Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. I hope you guys are having a really good weekend, okay? It's such a pretty day outside. Um, anyway, I'm here doing a collective reading, you guys. I forgot to show you the decks that I'm giving away for, for Valentine's Day. I'll show them to you at the end of the video though, okay? Um, and I'll tell you how to enter to win one of these fabulous decks. But, um, yeah, I think I just wanted to jump into your reading. You've got somebody who wants to mend things with you, okay? And they're coming in fast. I can't, I don't know if it's a masculine energy. It feels masculine to me here, but it could be just a friend, okay? Um, take it how it resonates with you. And thank you, everyone. Did I thank you yet? I love you. I hope you know how much I appreciate all my, my soul tribe out here, you guys. Thank you for joining this channel, for all of your subscribes, right? And thank you and welcome to everybody new here. Hi, I'm Mammy Becca. Uh, I'm just picking up on your energy. Yeah, see, this is kind of me out here. Hmm, is this a masculine or a feminine? Somebody wants to come back around, okay? And I feel like this could be somebody who maybe tries to lead you astray. You know, they, I feel like this is somebody who kind of likes to lead you off of your path. Um, they may tempt you to do things that you know aren't good for you. Or this could be something like, say you're trying to quit smoking. This person could be a smoker and keeps offering you, a, you know, a smoke. You know, something like that. Or say you're trying to, you know... Stop going shopping, and this person, all they want to do is spend money. I mean, I feel like they just constantly lead you astray. You know, you, you, you're, you're going one direction, but they're pointing you, they're always pointing you in another. You know, no, come and do this instead. Say you need to work or something like that. They'll talk you into skipping out of work and... You know, they could talk you into spending your money frivolously. It could be anything. They're a bad influence. That's what I want to say. They're a bad influence. Yeah, see, it's almost like you want to go one way and they lead you in the next. I feel like you, uh, you're you ready for something new. You know, you want some new, fresh energy. Anytime yin comes out for me, I feel this burst of fresh air. Okay. Um, and that's what you want. You you want some new connections here. You're, you've been in stagnancy too. Maybe you felt very isolated. You could have been waiting for somebody to return, but now you're seeing you you've been thinking about this, right? Spirits led you on on a journey of self discovery. You've had a lot of time to think about this connection and looking back on things. This person always led you in the wrong direction. Or they always tempted you to do um, not the right thing. You know, it, you may even miss somebody here, but you know now you're thinking clearly. You're using your head over your heart. It's kind of that feeling. Okay, you may miss somebody, but are they actually good for you, right? That's what you're thinking about. And I feel like you're making a decision here. You, you're wanting something new. You're wanting new connections. Okay, you want to stay in balance, right? You want somebody who's going to be fair. There may not have been equal give and take here either. I feel like... um. Oh, I don't even know what movie they're showing me. But I feel like this person, they were very selfish. If they had a goal in mind, they would kind of they would kind of lure you to help them reach that goal, but then they would just kind of drop you or leave you by the wayside. They didn't give to you. You know, the way you gave to them. It could be that kind of situation. Now you're out here feeling very blessed. Um, you're in this peaceful energy because they haven't been leading you down the wrong path. Okay, you've been on the right path. You've been following your true leader, God and the divine. Okay, you've been going by the book and that's what you want to keep doing is 
just staying on your path, doing the right thing, you know, and you've been able to rise above all of the chaos and the mess, all right, because you're not, you're not um, spending time with this person anymore. Yeah, and you're able to breathe. I feel like this person is somebody who maybe when you were with them, you felt really busy. You felt like um, pulled in a lot of different directions, okay? Um, like you had your own stuff to take care of, but they always seem to want your help to take care of their own needs. Something like that, okay? Now you have, um, you have peace. You, you have um, meditative moments. Your life has gotten better without this person in it. Even though you may miss them, they weren't good for you, collective. And I feel like um, you know this, right? But they're about to reach out and contact you, okay? Because they do want, they, they want you back into their life, but I mean, who wouldn't? I, I feel like this person just wanted you to be like their puppet or something. <gasps> you know, do what they wanted you to do, but they didn't give any consideration into the things that you had to do for yourself. Spirit's like, you stick with us. That's what Spirit's saying. Stick with us. We've got something new coming into the picture, right? And you have a deep knowing. I feel like this person just... Whoever this is, they put like a huge burden on your shoulders. It was a heavy weight that they, they put on your shoulders all the time. You know? Yeah, use your intuition about this person. I feel like spirit is uh, leading you in a different direction here than them. They are coming in, though, to try to mend things, whether this is an ex or, I mean, it could be anybody, you guys. It could be an ex. It could be an ex-friend, um, family member, co-worker. But it's somebody who will lead you down the wrong path time and time again. No matter how much you try to stay on that path, this person always seems to screw it up. Okay, yeah, they get you all in their head, all in your head, all the time. This, this is this page of wands energy. You know, because they are, uh, they're very flighty. They go after whatever it is that they want. They take a lot of risks, right? They're reckless, okay? And they get you kind of feeling stuck, overwhelmed, You know, yeah, so you're blocking this energy out. You have, you probably haven't talked to them in a really long time. You may even think that this is over. I'm getting the sense that it really was a friend, like somebody out of a friend group, or it could be a group of friends that were just a really bad, yep, yeah, look, friends, toxic friends, a bad influence on you. These could be people that you've been with since childhood that you've known since um, you were a kid. It could be family. It could be sisters, brothers. Take it how it resonates. It, it could be a group of, of feminines, okay? They all led you astray. I feel like you were the only innocent one in the group. Like, for real. These people could have been troublemakers, partiers, drinkers. They could have had addictions, you know? You could be breaking away from that addiction or just be the one that, like, it's, it's almost as if here you are in the Six of Cups energy, an innocent party, somebody who just wants to be responsible and dedicated to your path, right? And then here this group is with all these toxic tendencies, okay? It's like you have nothing in common with them. You're thinking about all of this, that you may not even have anything really truly in common with them because you're different. They're, I feel like they're partiers and maybe you like, were the designated driver or you could have been just the one that didn't do the things that they did in the first place. You see the difference here between the two cards. One's innocent and one is not. <laughs> okay, one's innocent. And one is not. 
So, yeah, you you have some major differences here. Yeah. And I feel like it it just it drove a wedge between you that needed to be there. Okay? There had to be a separation. And now that they're feeling that absence of you, now they want you back. Okay? Now they want you back. But this person, they didn't give to you. They wanted you to give to them. Or I don't know. It's just it doesn't feel right with this group, whoever this is. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. So I feel like you walking away is ca causing them a tower moment. All right. Yeah, you were the loving one. Very loving, very uh, innocent energy. Very sweet wanted the best for everyone, had good intentions for people, gave people your love. They want that love back. They want you to be open to their ideas and the things that they want. Okay? Still this toxic energy, this selfish devil energy. And I you know, they're feeling that they're feeling this. They're feeling you disconnecting and they're going to feel you not wanting to get back together with these friends. All right. I, you're, I feel like you're going to say, look, I've, I've had a lot of time to think about this. I've gotten clarity on this, that we didn't have a whole lot in common to begin with. And um, I don't want to be let off my spiritual path. Okay. I'm trying to do the right thing here. I don't think we thank you for the apology, right? Because you're going to be sweet about it. Thank you for the apology, but that's going to be a no. They're not expecting this from you, okay? Yeah, see, they want this new beginning. They're, they may even start this fight. How come you can't, for you know, you, even if you say thank you um, for the apology, I forgive you, they're going to be like, that's not forgiving us. Look, just because you forgive somebody doesn't mean you have to let them back in. Forgiveness is for you. You know, I feel like they're going to argue with you. They're going to fight with you. You may tell these people, all you do is stir up chaos and drama. Yeah, and I want to be, in, I want to live a life of peace. Just, you know, let me have my peace, right? Yeah. Feel like you're just, you know, maybe you just want to be on your own here. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles out here? Yeah, see, you're moving on. You're moving on. I feel like you're still, you know, um, you may be working on a creative project, right? Um, planting some seeds for your future. And moving on, looking forward to new things. You've learned your lessons from these people. You've learned. You, they gave you time to think about it. They gave you time to reflect back on, on those relationships, those connections. And you're like, nah. Because they haven't changed. You know, they are still in this toxic energy. This could be you, like maybe... Like maybe you were, uh, you could have done the same kind of things they did maybe way, way in the past and you're over that now and you don't want to be a part of it again, you know? Yeah, take it how it resonates for you though, okay? <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's coming up in your future. What's coming up for the collective... Because I feel like you're you're moving on. These people just they 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 come with chaos, okay? They bring chaos wherever they go. Yeah, um, it's spiritual awakening. It kind of wanted to come out in reverse. I feel like it's these people here that are just not they're not prepared to to make any changes in their life. And you, you don't want to be a part of it anymore. I feel like you're choosing a different option here. This is a turning point. Um, this is a choice you're making. These are those crossroads also, okay? 
I feel like this is where you guys split off. Okay, what else can you show me? But when one door closes, another one opens. Ah, oh, geez. Yeah, and I feel like you're also saying, no, if this was an ex-love, um, you're saying no to them as well. This could just be anyone from your past, right? The past. People being nostalgic. And here's the thing. You're, you're out here dating, putting yourself out there, meeting new people. That's what this new energy is. New, fresh people. Soulmate connections that, um, that you do have something in common with. Okay? Okay, what else is coming up? So you could start dating here soon in the future. I just feel like new connections coming your way, okay? Yeah. See, here's the thing. You're about to get some communication from someone, and you're also about to speak your truth and cut them out. All right? And after you do that, I feel like you start meeting new people. Okay, but this is the past coming back in, no matter who it is. It could be anyone. It could be friends, family, co-workers, an ex-lover. Take it how it resonates with you. But I don't think the past can come back in now. Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Oh, right. I need to show you the decks that I'm giving away for Valentine's Day, you guys. Okay, the first deck is the Pulp Tarot. I love, love, love this deck. Vintage, very vintage-like deck, okay? Um, and then we've got, uh, this is called the Easy Tarot. It's really good if you're learning how to read tarot, okay? Then we have um, the Nightmare Before Christmas, right? <laughs> it's such a fun deck. Um, honestly, I don't know anyone who wouldn't want that deck. Um, and then we've got the Lightseer's Tarot, one of the most popular decks out here in Tarot Land. Okay, and of course I have to include the Cat Tarot <laughs> in all of the giveaways. So, yes, we are having, these are going to be given, um, given out, well, the, the giveaway is on Valentine's Day. <laughs> So these are the five lucky winners are going to be chosen, right? Um, all you have to do to enter to win is be a subscriber to the channel and type in the name of the deck you want to win in the comments section. Easy peasy, okay? And then on Valentine's Day, I'm going to announce the five lucky winners. Yay! So good luck, everybody. These are awesome decks. Um, anyway, like and subscribe, right? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.